Hey guys, welcome to next Selenium tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how can we find out the broken links in any web application, right? So why we have to verify the broken links in any web application? So if you are hand over your web application to any end customer or end users, if they find any uh, links present in the web application is not working or not opening. So in this case, what will happen? The end user will experience the poor uh, impression on your web application, right? So what we have to do is uh, before hand over the web application to your end user or end customer. So we have to test all the links which is present in the web application. It's working perfectly fine or not right so how we can verify these uh, broken links using the, our selenium web driver right let us see an example so if there is any uh, invalid links or broken links present in your web application so end user may see like this uh, the site can't be reached or they might be uh, see 404 not found error or they might be finding 403 forbidden or it is not authorized or unauthorized these kind of errors they might be facing so if they, if they may face other issues also but they find for not for not found exception or error right so it will lead to a poor uh, uh, bad impression on your web application right so to avoid these conditions right what we have to do before hand, hand over this website to end users we have to find out the broken links right so let us see some of the example let's take this google website so this google has multiple uh, links like this is that uh, tamil or hindi or multiple language all these are the multiple links and you may see here here you can see uh, links are present and here gmail images if we expand this you may find account search maps all these are different links present in this particular website right so how can we handle and how can we find out the broken links in using our selenium web driver right let us see an example so this involves a, a few steps so the first step what we should do is we should find out what is the tag which has the link which has the link right that is the first one so the tags it may be anchor tag or image tag mostly every website may have may prefer to go for anchor tag so only few website like amazon or mitra those sites might be having image as a uh, uh, link tag right step two is what is that uh, step two is so we should extract the url from the tag so this may be from anchor tag or img tag Right. the step third is we should remove the duplicate url eliminate duplicate url right so this may reduce your uh, time in uh, if you go for a huge application like amazon mintra or they might be having thousands of uh, url in uh, same uh, web application right so if we eliminate our duplicate url it may reduce your uh, execution time right so fourth fourth step is verify verify the link is opening or not right so these are the four different steps involved in verifying your uh, uh, broken links so let's find out first step how we have to find out the links so if you inspect this particular uh, website google so you can go to any uh, gmail or any other links right you may find that this in this site all the links are present in anchor tag right so let's find the uh, links using anchor tag so what is that first uh, let before to that let's launch our google.com so first step is we have to find out the all the elements which has anchor tag so for to find out all that all the elements which uh, has anchor tag we should use find elements not element we have to use find elements by dot we have to here locator should be tag name right so what is the tag name is here anchor tag so this will uh, return a list of web element 
that you know already right so this this returns list of web element right let's save it as a links uh, variable this has link uh, a list of web elements right so let's print what is the size all links right let's print this so this all list supports size method to get the number of links right so what is the second step is we have to extract the url from the anchor tag so let's see how we can extract so this is the tag we have found so in this we can see multiple attributes like class data pid href target right so you can see over here right href uh, has the url so we have to exactly ex uh, find the value from href attribute so for that selenium has get attribute method to get the value from any attribute so what we should do here is right so we should find the uh, values from all the links right so for that we should loop through one by one let's take advanced for loop from java so this returns web element this has web element from links right so what we should do is this will one by one give the web element so for, let's take first web element dot get attribute of what is the attribute name we should give what is the attribute name it is href let's give that href right so this will fetch you the attribute name and this will return as a string you can see over here right this will give you the string value if you pass as a attribute as a string right so let's store this into one variable right it's a single link right so once we find the link let's put this into one set so why we have to put it so this is the third sub what we have given right so eliminate the duplicate url right so let's how we can eliminate this right so let's take it as a third step itself so now we have, we found this one right so let's put one condition guys uh, like if a link sometimes what will happen right this href will be having a uh, null value it will it will never have anything right let's remove that particular thing so if link is not equal to null and link is not empty then put it into one set so what will happen right to eliminate this we have to use the set right so let's declare one set over here this is the top string value it is equal to new as set right so why we have to use set uh, right over here so this set will never allow any duplicate values in, in that so that's the set value you can see over here a collection that contains no duplicate elements right if it, the element is already present in this set it will never add again that's the beauty of this set uh, uh, interface that's why we are using set over here so if it is there then it will not add it to here so what will happen right so let's see set dot it allows you add method let's add this link right this has been added to the set so what we have just done right so we are we have uh, taken all the anchor tags which has the uh, links and what what we are doing over here we are extracting exactly what is the value url it has and storing it into the link in the string right so here we are checking whether the link is not null and there is not empty then what we are doing right we are putting into the set to eliminate the duplicate url right so this set will contain only the unique urls 
so that the time will uh, reduce right when we are executing it right let's right so what next what we have to do is let's print how many urls are there after removing duplicates so for that what we it supports set supports size method let's print that right so now what we have done we fetched all the all the urls now the next step will will be we have to verify the values so for that what we have to do is so java will support you http url connection class right so we can use this uh, particular class to verify it right so here what we can do is we can give connection let's connect to the http protocol over here connection is equal to so this is not the connection http or new url so this url accept strings here we have to give exactly the set one by one dot open connection first step is we have to do the open connection right so after that what we should do is this is the connection method so after that what we should do connection dot after open we have to connect once it is connected let's take the connection let's get let's get the code this is the response code we have to get whether it's uh, this is the http related code http response code right we have we should get this so this will return an integer value so we let's save it into integer value this is the response code so what we should do over here right let's put it into loop after that uh, to take one by one to verify all the urls so here we have to give the url right so for that we have to take this set so this returns as a string value url so this will take one by one url and it will start verifying right so what we have to do is uh, so guys what we have to understand right uh, we, this is verifying using http protocol so what it means is so it it works on restful uh, architecture so what what exactly this means is if it is a positive response this has to return 200 series uh, code if there is any uh, client side error this has to return uh, 400 series or if there is any error from server side has to return 500 series error so what we have to verify right if problem is with our side right to uh, find the broken link so we have to verify 400 series error right so let's put that condition over here with the code so if code is greater than or equal to 400 then you should print that code so before to that what we can do right let's print number of broken links number of broken links let's count this put it over here plus plus right and if there is any broken link let's print that also this is url right once this is completely done what we can do let's print number of broken links it found right that's all guys it is done so this is one of the most uh, 
a frequently asked interview question if you go for any selenium interview right so how can you find out your bro contents in any website so these are the different four steps that involves so you can make uh, make all these code right as a reusable method as well one by one so you can find like how can we find your uh, uh, links whether using anchor anchor tag or image tag or you can go for how can we extract the url and verify the, the url is working or not right. let's try running and see what will happen it, it should open google.com and it should fetch one by one let's see over here you can see over here right so this is the all the links that we have printed over here right before uh, eliminating uh, duplicate uh, links so it has 27 links but after eliminating your uh, duplicate links it is giving 26 uh, links because it eliminated the duplicate link one duplicate link it eliminated and you can see over here number of broken links zero we have found here why it is giving zero means uh, google is always right it's up and running 24 into 7 so that's why it is uh, giving there is no broken links so it, it may like in your web application you might be finding one or two now links might be broken right so in that in that case this, this might be helpful so the links will appear uh, in both anchor tag as well as image tag right so if you want to find out in the uh, same uh, loop right you can you may add this into one more uh, uh, list as well like links dot add all so this is the add all functionality that a list supports in this what what you can do right same you can copy and instead of anchor tag you can give an image tag so what this will do right so this will add all the tags which are uh, presents in img right which has the links so it will it will uh, count all anchor tag urls as well as image tag urls so rest everything will be same so anyway all the anchor tags or image tags right uh, so url will be uh, lies in the href attribute itself so this will find all the uh, broken uh, links from img tag as well as anchor tag right so this is one of the most frequently interview uh, questions guys so make sure you are going to give as much as possible optimized code right like eliminating the duplicate urls and then you are going to find out all the values right so if you want to give exact url uh, website like 404 uh, not found right so those kind of uh, optimized code you can write right so that is it from this video guys if you love watching my video please like my video so if you did not uh, subscribe my, to my channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.